what's up my baby so i did get a retwist and i got a retwist this week on tuesday when you're watching this video it's thursday and i'm about to take the style down just because um i do feel like i could get better sleep if i take it down but it did last so what my stylist did was the barrel twist as you can see she did the barrel twist and she put it up in a high pony so what i'm about to do is take it down right now uh i just don't want the added to <laughs> Okay, so when she put the style up, she put it up with the um with the rubber bands for me. Um, uh, what I want you to know is that I'm just happy that I was able to get no. She actually wrapped my uh look like wrapped my um, some some of my locks around it. But uh, what I want you to know is that um I'm just taking it easy. Uh, I wasn't expecting to actually get my hair retwisted. I wasn't expecting to get my hair retwisted as soon as I did, but I'm glad I did because uh, it was necessary. And uh, I enjoyed the style for sure. It's very cute and frisky while it lasted. But now it's just time to just take the style out and rock out with my retwist. And let it be. Oh, this is what she is looking like. And this loctician told me that um, I could do like the gel on the ends of my hair if I want to. But uh, we'll see. I think I'm still going to be doing like the mousse because I do want the lightweight and I might play around with a few little gel uh, a few little light gel styling gels on the ends of my curls uh, the ends of my locks that are curls because I have bohemian locks and this loctician didn't know I had so many locks until she had looked at my hair really good she was like girl you got a lot of hair I was like girl I know shoot and uh, it took her a while but when she was finished, baby, the hair looked it real good, and it still does. Um, so my next shampoo probably will not be until the second week of December, most likely. That's what I'm gonna be shooting for. Um, uh, got a little something in my locks. Okay, so I'm going to be shooting for like the second week. Uh, I had my hair washed this week. So that'll be like two and a half weeks of me not washing my hair. Um, I could go next week and wash my hair. It's really nothing. I still have been doing the shower cap method. If any of y'all was still curious about that, um, I can try to get it recorded so y'all can see it as well. Um, as far as some of the Black Friday sales go, I have not been able to get uh, a shampoo so far, but I'm going to try to get like a shampoo on one of these Black Friday sales, uh, something that's going to be efficient and something that I'm really going to like because, um, you know, now that my hair is like this, I'm, I'm definitely uh, leaning towards more clarifying shampoos since I'm not washing my hair um I'm not just washing my hair just to wash it I'm actually washing my hair to clarify it and my scalp so yeah mm. yeah baby let me, let me see
It is so cute. And this loctician, she actually used like a lock gel on my hair. And baby, these 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 little starters, they obey that. They they land. I didn't thought my hair was gonna be looking like this though. It's I'm I'm loving it so far. So yeah, I think I feel like going on. I think I'm gonna be ending. I definitely will be ending the year with my starters. Um, I'm gonna be getting my hair retwisted again before Christmas, probably in the next four weeks, three and a half weeks. Um, being that I messed up my own retwist, I'm gonna just be uh, shampooing and within the next uh, three to four weeks, I'm gonna get her to come over here um, and do my hair for me. Or if I do get an opportunity to go to a, lock, a different loctician, then that's what I'm gonna do because everybody can tell which way to like now do my retwist. Because obviously I don't know how to right now. So, uh, yeah. So far, I can tell you that this journey, um, it's not for the faint at heart. It's really not. Um, the first month was a struggle for me. Being that I was literally, urgently ready to call my hair out. But um, one of my really good lock friends and another one of my good sisters was like, Lynn, mm -mm. and my younger sister was just like, do it make you feel good. Call them, call, call them out. Call them all night. And I was just like, girl, shut up, girl. Like, she was on that. Girl, go call them out. You could always get it again, Lynn. Just go, go ahead on. Go ahead on, sis. And I was just like, oh, Lord. She was ready for a girl. She was ready for me to go and comb her on out the way I was talking. Because I was just like, yeah, because I got the comb in my hair right now. She was like, go for it then. I do it, though. I do it. So, honestly, I do feel really grown and sophisticated with locks. Um, I feel more like... I'm, I don't know, I feel more sure of myself with locks and it's just this sense of, it's this sense of, damn, like you really have grown because when I wore my hair curly, I just always felt like I wasn't being taken seriously and I know it sounds so crazy, but like when people initially would see my big hair, they would, they would address my hair before they would address me. And now that I have locks, well, I'm going on a lot journey and, you know, even though the ends of my hair are still curly, you know, um, it's like people just look at me like, okay, now it's like I really do command serious attention. Like you want to take me seriously, baby. When I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, not at you. But if you think I'm talking at you, that's a personal problem. But when I had my curly hair, you know, it was it was more so like I felt, especially then. If I do eventually comb these out and go back to my curly hair, I will have a different sense and a different feel for who I am as a woman. But as of now, when I had curly hair, you know, at my time frame of having it, um, you know, people was just not taking me seriously. Now when they see me and now when I talk, people listen to what I really have to say. And they listen back then, but as of now, even though I am a little hoarse, you know, when I talk, I mean what I'm saying. You know, and I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. And my hair literally states that, you know, this girl, she don't, this girl don't care what you think about her. She don't care how you feel about her. She's here to be here. Not for you, not for your mom, not for your son, not for your daughter, not for your stepchild. She's here. She's here for herself. And she's here for the good Lord up above. She's here to show up and show out. So, yeah, like, this is what it's going to be. And um, I'm going to just refresh the ends of my hair um, with a little water and oil. And that's going to be that. And I am going to end up probably doing like a little a semi trim on my ends. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good. You know, I'm glad I took the style down. What you think? Tell me what you think.
um and the retwist definitely was less than the start than just starting it off it was cheaper so i can say financial financial wise you really have to shop around with locticians to really find somebody that you know you're going to be able to trust with doing your retwists because if you could do them yourself that's amazing but you really got to be able to find at least two good people in your area that can really do a good retwist because one time the first person might not be available you need always need a, a point a, a, a you know you got your point a you got your point b you always need two options i don't care what nobody say that is what it is you know you you just can't just can't trust just one stylist because anything can happen with their books and then you look in the hot ass mess so always try to venture out and find an additional stylist to handle your lightweight when it comes down to your beauty needs essentials anything i'm telling you right now and i feel like a lot of the hairstylists, they are in the industry, so where they understand, they know. But don't go to somebody just because they cheaper or don't go to somebody just because it's more convenient. Actually take the time out to um, just study that person, look at their books, look at how they move. You know, if you got to watch them on social media for a little bit, do that. You know what I'm saying? Before you book, ask questions, reach out to the stylist, get a vibe for the stylist before you go sit in their chair. You know, and I know a lot of stylists don't offer the same day booking is understood, you know, and also get a consultation with the stylist before you sit down and commit to something, especially like starter locks. So I feel like a lot of people don't even talk about that. But um, anywho, I am signing on out of this piece now. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Um, we had a really good Thanksgiving. If y'all was curious, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have the exclusives over there and on my Facebook. But um, yeah, we had a really nice Thanksgiving and I'm just happy that, you know, God has just been moving in mysterious ways and I'm, you know, 90% back to where I need to be at. I still got a 10% to go when it come down to my voice. But um, a girl rocking and rolling, you heard me. So until the next video, I love you for watching and bye.